Yo, what's up? Uh, just figure I better do my first blog since everyone's been bugging me about it. Just flew in. I'm in a hotel room in North Carolina at the moment. It is pretty boring, but only because it's like this little scummy hotel on the side of the highway. It's kind of like creeping me out. But uh, Miami was sick. Hey, no, seriously, you all got to go there. It's crazy. Um, it seems like it's like similar. Like obviously, I'd only ever been to Bali before I went to Miami, so I was like comparing it to that, like international destination. And um, it's similar like weather, like it's hell humid and hot, um, but it's like, oh man, it's crazy. Like the clubs and stuff are so much fun. Um, I went to a couple uh, like ones that were like kind of Latina, cause it's like everyone speaks Spanish. I was like the only person in like the whole city who didn't speak Spanish. Um, it was everyone, like, even all my roommates, even, like, the Ger my German roommates spoke Spanish. It was crazy. But I got there the Monday night at about 10, and I was knackered, and, like, you know, I was feeling how... I was so homesick, like, well, like, I was so nervous when I, I threw up before I even left for the airport. Like, Sunday night, everyone left, and I was, like, sitting around. I was so nervous about leaving. I, like, threw up, and it was disgusting. But, uh, yeah, I got, like, how long flight was boring as... Got there about 10. I pretty much went straight to bed. Um, and it was, well, I got, a, I think I got on my laptop and just went on Facebook briefly or something. But I uh, went straight to bed. Now I got up on Tuesday and just sort of wandered around. But like, it was Tuesday, I was, I was like pretty homesick as well, but only because I hadn't met anyone. So I was like, just during the day, I had no idea like where anything was. I went down to the beach for a little bit, which is cool. But Tuesday night was sick. Like, I went down to the bar, and it's like dollar fifty for happy hour, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah, I went to the bar and just sat there for a bit, just met a few people, and ended up... I was talking to these, like, these... <laughs> well, actually, I'll get to that later. But I was talking to these, like, couple of American people and then sat down with these three British people, this guy and these two of the hottest chicks. Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. I can't even, like, describe, like, the hottest chicks ever. Hey, it's crazy. So I hung out with them all night. Um, naturally, they didn't want anything to do with me. But um, <laughs> no, I hung out with them. We went to a few pubs and stuff. Uh, and like a lot of the pubs have like this beer pong table set up. So we played some beer pong. The beer is dirt though. Well, like, I don't really mind the Budweiser, but everyone drinks like Bud Light. It's just like, it's like light on calories, not on alcohol. But it's like drinking. It's for some reason, it's like drinking gravel. Hey, like actually hurts my throat. It's messed up. Um, so yeah, then yeah, went to the pub and that was a pretty pretty big night. Like, cause it goes like it's like when Perth had daylight savings. Cause it's it, the sunset so late, you don't really realize how late it is. So like, it would, it would be like one o'clock before we even go out. Um, then the next couple of days, I went over to like Miami, like cause Miami Beach is like an island. I don't know. I didn't even know I was on an island until like two days in. But went across to the mainland and like did a little bit of shopping. Bought a um, uh, heat jersey. Uh, not like a jersey, like a t-shirt. It says like Kings of South Beach and shit. And I'll show you later, but it was pretty cliched. Um, went to... I was going to go to Hooters, but I felt like too creepy going and sitting in Hooters by myself. So I went to Chili's instead. And uh, Chili's was pretty nice. I had ribs, but I don't know. The food here is just fine. Like, I'm eating like a lot of shit. Like I'm going to... Once I get to like college, I'm going to cook some healthy meals because I'm like pretty much living on fast food and it's filthy. Um, so yeah, went to that and then next, I think I took it easy Wednesday night and stuff. Thursday night was probably my biggest night. I went out to, with this Kiwi guy and these two chicks from Baltimore, um, Maryland, which is like, I don't know, a bit further north than Miami, I think. I think it's a couple of states north from North Carolina, but, um, they were really cool. Hey, uh, so went out, um, and on the way home, I did this, this, this African American dude sort of stopped me and was chatting to me like, "Hey, how's it going, man?" Blah blah. And I was like, "Yeah, you know, you're working." And he's, he ends up telling me he got kicked out of his room, and I was like, "Oh, that's so, like out of his like his you know apartment." He, he he says his roommate came out of the closet or whatever, and then hit on him, and he was like, "Oh, dude, like you know, I'm not gay or whatever." And so the roommate got help pissed off and kicked him out. That's the story he told me anyway, and I was pretty trash. I'm like, "Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks." So um. I was like, oh, so where are you headed? And he's like, you know, I'm just wandering around. Like, I've got nowhere to go. So I was like, oh, you know, well, I gave him 20 bucks. I was obviously drunk as balls. Gave him 20 bucks. And I was like, good luck. And he's like, oh, thanks so much. And 
He's like, where are you? Like, where are you going? And I was like saying, I was just at this hostel around the corner. And he's like, they have rooms? And I was like, oh, probably. I don't really know. Like, come check it out if you want. So he ended up coming with me, like, around there. And we're, like, ordering, doing a room and everything. And he didn't have any money. And it was, like, $32. So I'm like, oh, so I, like, give him more money to, like, book his room. So I booked him this room for the night. And I'm like, oh, well, I wasn't really aware because I was drunk with it. And I was thinking, man, it's probably, like, I'm probably just getting scammed by some dude. But it was, like, 30 bucks and... He's obviously like homeless, so, he, but, so we're sitting down and, um, like, cause either, and then I went and had beers, like, cause the hotel, uh, the hostel bar, sorry, was open till 5am. So I went out to have some more beers and, uh, he was like, oh, do you mind if I come sit with you? I was like, yeah, sure. You know, he came and sat. He's talking, he's like, oh, you know, we're talking about traveling stuff. He's like, have you ever been to London? Now this is already after I'd already paid for his room and stuff. So I find it odd that he'd be lying, but. I was like, no, I've never been, hey. And he goes, oh, well, I, um, he goes, I'm actually like, I played keyboard or whatever. And I won this competition. Uh, and I won like a tr trip for three to London, like all, like, you know, travel and hotel paid and everything. And he was like, you've been so kind to me. Like, did you want to come? Like, it's in November or whatever. I was like, holy shit. But I was like, I was real sorry, but I'm studying. But if that was like true, then that's pretty good karma. I was like, pretty happy with that. But yeah, like I said, I don't know what this deal was. Like, if it was, you know, whatever, but I was like, fuck, that would be all right. But uh, what else has been going down? Oh, yeah, this crazy lady, man. The, just before we went out with these chicks from Baltimore and this Kiwi guy, um, this American chick walking around, she was like in her 40s or something. She was like a hell hippie, and she kept like going like this, like, like to me, like, you know, reaching, doing this to me or whatever, and like reading like my chakras and stuff, and she was like reading everybody's, like, and one of the Baltimore chicks was hell into it. Because I was like, what a crock of shit, you know. But one of the Baltimore chicks was hell into it. And she was like, oh, man, she, like, knew stuff about me. You know, it's crazy. And I was like, yeah, all right, you know, whatever. And um, she read mine and she was, like, doing it. And she's like, whoa, whoa. like, And I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, you were, like, so sad or some shit. I'm like, I'm not that sad. I'm pretty happy. And she's like, no, you, like, push people away. You've got a really, like, hostile aura or something. And I was like... I didn't think my order was that hostile, but it was really weird. <coughs> and um, what else happened? It was pretty good. At, like, cool. Like, I just, like, yeah, most of the time I just do my own thing during the day. And then, yeah, happy hour at 6 o'clock. It's like $1. fifty beers from 6 to 8. So I just go down to the hostel bar and, like, I'd see people already met or meet new people. So it was cool. Hey, like, I really liked it in Miami. Um, but now in North Carolina, it's, like, pretty different. Well, I've pretty much... I got only been here a couple of hours, but um, it was like so many trees and shit. Hey, it's like oh, trees everywhere. It's like it's permanent forest or some shit. It's crazy. But the guy, my taxi driver from the airport, was like, his brother went to because I was saying yeah, I'm studying or whatever, and he's like, oh, my brother goes to NC State. He says it's awesome and shit. So that was cool. Like, you know, actually hearing from someone who's actually been there. Um, so yeah, hopefully. Uh, it's pretty cool, but I get to move into my apartment tomorrow morning, so I'm pretty stoked about that. It'll be good to, like, actually meet people, like, get fr make friends that, you know, aren't coming and going, like, more stable. So I'll be sick, and uh, that's about it for my week. I've probably forgotten some stuff, but I've talked to you guys on Facebook and Skype and shit anyway, so. Uh, yeah, no, it's been good so far. Like, I do, you know, because I, I haven't really gotten to a rhythm yet. Um, like, I will, like, once I get to school, obviously I will. But, so I still, like, at times, you know, I get a bit like, you know, sick for home and, and uh, miss people, but I'd fucking, I will survive, and I've been talking to you guys heaps on Facebook and shit anyway, so it's only been a week, um, so yeah, alright, cool, well, anyway, I'll wrap this up, nine minutes, that went quickly when I, it's nice, like, just talking to myself and shit, but, um, alright, take it easy, I'll speak to you soon, get Skype already, like, you're all taking too long, except you, Richard, it's alright, and Ben. <laughs>